हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू आई के सर केमिस्ट्री क्लासेस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस द एनालिसिस ऑफ एस्प्रीन टैबलेट प्लीज वॉच द फुल वीडियो ए प्रॉब्लम हैज बीन गिवेन एट द एंड ऑफ द वीडियो प्लीज सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम एंड submit it in the classroom on 18th october for checking aspirin is the most commonly used analgesic and blood thinner it is the derivative of salicylic acid it is salicylic acid which contains oh group at position number 2 of benzoic acid this is position number 1 position number 2 hence its iupac name is 2 hydroxy benzoic acid and its common name is salicylic acid if salicylic acid is treated with acetic anhydride one molecule of acetic acid is eliminated with the formation of this compound which contains acetyl group attached to oxygen atom of salicylic acid hence its common name is acetyl salicylic acid this group is called acetoxy group which is present at position number 2 of benzoic acid and hence its name is also 2 acetoxy benzoic acid and its commercial name is aspirin aspirin tablets aspirin is sold as tablet under different names such as accord dispersible aspirin tablets its each tablet contains 75 mg of aspirin the another one is aspar dispersible aspirin tablets its one tablet also contains 75 mg of aspirin next one is ecotrin its one tablet contains 81 mg of aspirin and the most popular brand of aspirin is disprin please go to the medical store and try to find out that how many mg of aspirin are present in one tablet of disprin determination of mass of aspirin in its tablet this is the experiment to be performed first of all principle of this method the mass of aspirin in its tablet can be determined by titrating its solution against a standardized NaOH solution using phenolphthalein as an indicator the mass of aspirin present in its tablet can be determined by titrating the solution of the tablet against a standardized NaOH solution and in this process phenolphthalein is used as an indicator this is aspirin which contains acidic c double oh group when it is titrated against naoh solution these two compounds react each other forming sodium salt with elimination of h2o molecule it is obvious that one molecule of aspirin reacts with one one mole of aspirin reacts with one mole of naoh during this titration 
the end point of the reaction during titration is indicated by the appearance of light pink coloration. This is the principle for the determination of mass of aspirin in aspirin tablet. Now the procedure. In the first step of this method, the tablet of aspirin of a particular brand is weighed accurately and it is added to a 250 ml conical flask. Then 100 ml distilled water is added to it and shaken well. As a result, the tablet dissolves in water. Then this solution is filtered in 250 ml measuring flask to remove the suspended impurities if present in the solution. The residue left behind on the filter paper is washed with distilled water and the volume is made 250 ml by adding more amount of distilled water to the measuring flask. Thus we get 250 ml clear solution of one tablet of aspirin. Then 50 ml of this clear aspirin solution is taken in a conical flask and two drops of phenolethylene indicator are added to it. Thus we get colorless 50 ml aspirin solution containing two drops of phenolethylene indicator. This colorless solution is titrated against a standardized 0.01 mNaOH solution until the solution becomes light pink colored. It is the end point of the reaction and it has been represented diagrammatically on the next slide. This is the starting point of titration in which 50 ml aspirin solution is taken in the conical flask and two drops of phenolethylene indicator are added to it. 0.01 m NaOH solution that is centimolar NaOH solution is taken in the burette and it is added drop wise to the conical flask. When the drop of NaOH solution starts to become pink, the process is slowed down and NaOH solution is added to the conical flask very slowly drop wise and when the content of the conical flask becomes light pink colored it is the end point of the reaction and the final reading of the burette is noted down if one more drop of NaOH solution is added to the conical flask the color of the content becomes pink but we have to note down the burette reading at this point when the color of the solution of the conical flask is just light pink. The titration is repeated until two concordant readings are obtained. Let the concordant titer value B V M L. These steps have been represented with the help of a flow sheet diagram as follows. The aspirin tablet is weighed. It is dissolved in 250 ml distilled water and filtered to get clear 
250 ml aspirin solution 50 ml of this aspirin solution is titrated against 0.01 m NaOH solution using phenolphthalein as indicator and at the end point of the titration the color of the content of conical flask should be just light pink now the most important part of the process calculations let the mass of aspirin tablet be w milligram we have already seen that one mole of aspirin reacts with one mole of NaOH. Number of moles of aspirin present in its 50 ml solution will accordingly be equal to number of moles of NaOH present in VML, it is the tighter value. 0.01 m NaOH solution and one tablet has been dissolved in 250 ml therefore number of moles of aspirin in one tablet that is 250 ml of the solution containing WMG tablet will be equal to number of moles of NaOH in 5 V ml 0.01 m NaOH solution. Here the volume of aspirin solution is 50 ml which reacts with V ml of 0.01 m NaOH solution and therefore 250 ml of aspirin solution will react with 5 V ml 5 times 50 multiplied by 5 is 250 and therefore V multiplied by 5 will be 5V ml 0.01 m NaOH solution and it is the number of moles of aspirin in 250 ml solution that is WMG of the tablet and the number of moles in this solution can be calculated with the help of this formula V into S by 1000 where V is the volume of NaOH solution it is 5V and S is molarity of the solution 0.01 M and it is 1000 divided by 1000 this is the number of moles of aspirin present in 250 ml of solution that is one tablet of aspirin that is WMG of the tablet and same number of moles of NaOH will be here which will react with each other. This number of moles of aspirin can be transformed into gram by multiplying with 180 gram. This is the molar mass of aspirin. One mole of aspirin weighs 180 gram and therefore 5V into 0.01 divided by 1000 mole of aspirin will contain this amount of aspirin. On transforming gram into milligram, it should be multiplied by 1000. This 1000 will be cancelled out and on solving, we get 9V milligram aspirin. It is present in one tablet of aspirin whose mass is WMG. Percentage of aspirin in aspirin tablet is equal to mass of aspirin in the tablet divided by mass of aspirin tablet multiplied by 100. Mass of aspirin in the tablet as we have calculated 9 VMG and the mass of aspirin tablet which was weighed and it is equal to WMG multiplied by 100 mg mg will be cancelled out and it is simply 900 v by w percent this is the percentage of aspirin in the aspirin tablet here 
two terms have been used v and w here v is the volume of 0.01 mnu solution required this is the volume of 0.01 mnu solution in ml which is required to react completely with 50 ml of aspirin solution it is the tighter value and W is the mass of aspirin tablet in milligram and why knowing the values of W and P the percentage of aspirin in the aspirin tablet can be calculated easily and now the time for self assessment aspirin tablet with mass 300 mg is dissolved in distilled water and the volume is made 250 ml 50 ml of this aspirin solution required 7.5 ml of 0.01 mnao solution whose factor is 0.95 Calculate the percentage of aspirin in the given tablet. Solve this problem and submit your answer in the classroom on 18th October. It is mandatory for all the students. Thank you for watching the video with concentration. Please like share and subscribe it thank you again